WordPress website to Android application. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your WordPress website and how you can turn it into your mobile application. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now for this video, you're going to need a WordPress website. As I said before, as it says in the title, you're going to be turning your website into a mobile application. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now over here, I'm on this website called appmysite.com. And over here, you can turn your applications and over here you can turn your website into an application so which i think is pretty awesome so we're going to be using this website this tool to create our application so let's get started simply click on get started for free over here and over here you can go ahead and enter in your details to create an account or you can continue with google i'm going to go ahead and continue with google and once you're done you are good to go so simply click on create new app over here and over here enter in your wordpress site domain over here and you are good to go so so let me just see and then you choose your cms platform and it's going to be wordpress and my website uses woocommerce plugin if you have one you can turn this on if you don't have one you don't have to so i'm just simply gonna go ahead and name my website over here and i'm just simply gonna click on build an app and boom you are good to go so once you've done that as you can see this is how it's going to look like over here on the right side in the mobile over here this is how it's going to look like on the ios this is how it's going to look like in android right and then you can go ahead and change the background of your application you can change the app icon as well i'm just simply going to keep it z you have your font size you can you know make it smaller or larger it all depends on you you can change pop-ins as well i really like pop-ins so i'm going to continue with that then you have the color and once you're done that you are good to go you can even upload your own logo design over here if you have one and then just simply click on next next is going to take you over to the launch screen and this is how it's going to look like over here you can upload your own logo if you want to and you can also you know select a background color as well you can add in the text over here and add, change the text color change the text font and text size as well so i'm going to actually increase the text size because i think it's pretty small so yeah i think 25 looks good once that's done i'm just simply going to click on next and then over here you can customize your login page so over here you as i said before you can upload your background image or you can select your own color then you have your logo then you have your you know color of your buttons you have your fonts you have your font size you can align them to the left side or in the center or in the right side wherever you want i feel like it looks good over here on the left side and then you have your welcome text as you can see over here it's going to say login or sign up you can change that to whatever you want and then you also have your size as well so as you can see if i change it to 18 that's how it looks like if i change it to 20 it looks pretty cool again change the fonts and you can also change the social you know button to a rectangle or a circle or a square so this is how it looks like for the circle this is how it looks like for the square this is how it looks like in rectangle i feel like circle looks good so i'm going to keep it at that then then you can change your color scheme of your entire application over here at the bottom and once you have added it out just simply click on next and then over here you can change the color theme of your website so as i said before over here the background color is blue the text color is white the font button colors and all that so actually i'm going to change the you know background color to a little bit darker blue like that and i'm going to copy the color code as well and i'm going to put this color code over here as well for the button or you can you know make the button a little bit you know lighter color uh, it all depends on you and then once you have edited it out you can just simply click on next and you are good to go next you will be editing your home screen over here as you can see this is how it looks like so over here you have all of your options over here you have your main header section color main banner blog banner name over here you have blog categories popular blogs recent blog web views and pages and all of that you can move it up and down so if i wanted to move the blog categories up and i just simply you know reload it i believe and then as you can see blog categories are up over here you can even move them down if you wanted to and then if you refresh the page yeah that's how it looks like and once you have done all of your settings just simply you know choose whichever one you want all right so i didn't want this one i'll keep it at that i'll close that and i'll put the block categories way over here at the top and i'll click on next and then we are good to go now if i wanted to you know go back to the home screen i can see the block categories are up at the top and people can choose which type of categories they want so yeah next thing that you can do is you have connectivity so in connectivity 
you know you have installed plugin so what this will do is you have to log into your website's backend admin panel install and activate the app my site plugin and connect your website with the application so how do we do that let me open it up over here in your website's you know dashboard you go into the plugin section right here you click on add new plugin and you search for app my site over here this is going to be the plugin simply click on install and once it's installed activate plugin and we can move on so i'm going to click on activate wait for a couple of seconds for it to be activated and then we will move on all right so now that it's activated now what we'll do is let's go back to over here you know i already have it all right so okay i think because it's open in another window i have to open it up over here as well so let me go to my site real quick over here and log into my dashboard and over here this should be the plugin right so it is activated let me just reload the page and see what it says okay so it's not activated it is however over here you know go into the plugin store over here this is it yeah it is uploaded install and activate it now how do i connect it with my website let me just actually go over here okay so i have to download it over here and i have to grant access over here turn on the button and this is the app you know administrator over here copy your username pasted below you must be an administrator navigate to the application password on profile input my app my side all right so as i said before you have to add the application you know over here if you click on grant access you have to add in your username and your application password over here as well so to add that what you're going to need to do is log into your wordpress website right here go into users and go into profile scroll down at the bottom you will see application password add in your new application password and click on add new application password and this will be it actually just simply add in my new app and this is going to be your application name and this is going to be the password simply copy that paste that over here and add in your administration username and just simply click on verify now it should work okay so we have to input app my site in the new application password let's do that scroll down below add in the new application name let me you know revoke these two all right so now we have that app my site let me revoke that as well click on add new and boom here we go all right so first let me just copy that over here paste that over here now it should work okay i think it's because i have not fully you know updated my wordpress website i mean it still has a lot of work to do i think it's because my certificate is not valid i don't understand why but uh i think it's because of my security issues that i can actually you know log into my wordpress website but the process should be the same for you it should be easy just follow this and just simply click on connect and you should be good to go and once your app is connected you just simply have to click on publish you just publish your you know application and you are good to go so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know i'm really sorry that i couldn't actually show you this method but it's pretty easy you just follow these steps as it is over here written over here grant access to the wordpress application after you've you know installed the plugin do all of these steps that says over here as it says and then it should work and also make sure that you set up your wordpress website properly meaning your security certificate and everything else is you know all set as well so once that's done you can easily create it so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye